very good morning students welcome to your english class today we will cover one more topic of your grammar tree textbook the chapter number is chapter number 4 and the name of the chapter is prefixes and suffixes it's a very very easy topic so we will be going through it with the help of a presentation and let's see what it is about prefixes common way for making new words in english so basically children when we want to make new words so for making those new words we add a letter or more to the previous word and a new word is formed these letters which are added are called prefixes because they are added in the beginning of the word a prefix is a letter or group of letters added to the beginning of a word to form a new word the meaning of which is usually different in some way from that of the original word okay so over here if you see there is a picture of the word happy okay and if i add a few letters over here basically two letters u and n so it has become unhappy so the meaning is little bit different it is not the same from the original word the original word is happy and if i add the two letters those two letters which are added are called prefixes why because they are added in the beginning of the word so the new word is unhappy so if i want to make a new word i will use prefixes okay see this another word invisible so the original word is visible which can be seen right and if i put two words two letters at the beginning of this word visible these two letters basically i and n it will become invisible that which cannot be seen right so this is how prefixes are used now over here pre the, the word prefix is made out of two words pre and fix so pre means before before the original word and it is fixed to attach so basically to attach to the original word okay at the beginning of the original word now more about prefixes over here to the word man now you understand the meaning of man right the male gender we add the prefix super now super means more right more or better than to form a new word superman a man which is more than any usual man more powerful maybe more uh, you know capable maybe more uh, you know strong maybe whatever but basically he is better than more than the usual men okay so he is a superman the new word superman means a man who is unusually strong or intelligent or who can do something extremely well okay so a man who is bestowed with ultimate strength and intelligence and capability right so this is the new word superman right i have added the prefix super to the original word man and i get a new word superman okay another word the prefix bi by means two two we added this prefix to the word cycle and we get a new word bicycle which goes around cycle basically is a, a machine simple machine which has wheels and which goes around to take us from one place to another and by the word bicycle we mean a vehicle with two wheels okay so this is a bicycle over here understood children bicycle we have added the prefix by that is two and over here we have added the prefix super that means superman over here we mean a man who is unusually more powerful and intelligent one major reason for using using a uh, prefixes is to form opposites or antonyms now antonyms basically means words having opposite meanings okay so opposites or antonyms we use some prefixes to form opposites or antonyms of certain words like the first word is like i like something and if i have to form an opposite what will i add i'll add the prefix dis i dislike something i like something 
I dislike something. Which is the prefix that we've added? Dis. Okay. Then in plus same is equal to insane. Now the word sane over your children means mentally sound. Right? A person who's, uh, you know, mentally fit. Who's not, uh, you know, I, uh, in other words to say, who's not mentally troubled or traumatized or a mad person for that matter. He's sane. Or else if, if he's insane, then he's mentally instable. Okay, students? So another word that we will be looking at is impossible. Now, impossible is having the prefix I am in to make the new word impossible. Impossible is the opposite of possible. Three other prefixes which I use to form antonyms are, so this is a prefix I-L-L, I-R-L and N-O-N, non. Which are the words they form? Now, for example, I-L. I-L along with legal forms the opposite illegal. Legal is something which is in, uh, uh, in line with the rules and regulations. And illegal is something which is against the law, against the rules, against the regulations. Okay? And uh, so similarly, IR is the regular and uh, when we add IR, -er, it becomes irregular. Okay? That is which is not quite often. Okay, next uh, one more word with IR is ir, ir plus responsible, irresponsible. If you see this lady over here, she's very responsible to throw the garbage in the dustbin, in the uh, garbage bin. And over here, this man is throwing it on the road. So you can understand how the opposites are made with the help of simple prefix IR, ir, making it responsible to irresponsible. Okay, students, then we have ill-fitting. If you see this man, he's having a perfectly fitting suit, right? And if I want to make an opposite, I will just add I-L-L and you have the new word ill-fitting, which is the opposite of fitting. Ill-fitting means something which is, you know, not in proper shape or size and is ill-fitting, okay? Then we have uh, another word, Holy plus un is equal to unholy. Holy is something which is sacred, which is something pure. And unholy is the opposite of holy. Okay. Then non-stop. Over here the word non, prefix non is added to the word stop to form the opposite non-stop. That which is continuous. Okay. Then we have non-violent. Non-violent as in, you know our uh, father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, he followed the non-violent approach. And that gave us freedom, that provided freedom for our entire country. Right? So non-violent means something which is a peaceful approach. A very, uh, you know, uh, a very uh, a peaceful, smooth and, uh, you know, sweet and uh, uh, in, 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 in regulations with the laws and rules. And violent is when you are aggressive, when you are harsh, when you are not following the rules and regulations. Okay? So that's the opposite of violent, that is non-violent. Usually the prefix and the word to which it is added are written together as one word. We usually add the prefix with the main original word to form words like dislike, illegal, irresponsible. But sometimes it's a different case. However, in some cases a hyphen is added to separate the prefix from the word to which it is added. A hyphen is this symbol children, the dash. Okay? And this is, for example, in this word non-cooperation. A hyphen is added. This, these are some rare exceptional words. Okay? The next word. With the help of the prefix mid, we get the new words midway or midnight. The word mid, prefix mid means in the middle of. So basically, if you want to say in the middle of the night, you will say midnight. Then re means again. So the, uh, the words which are formed with the help of the prefix re are replay or renew. These are basically examples of prefixes that we are studying. Then there is another prefix called sub. Sub means below, less than. Like for example, subcommittee. There is a committee. The groups under that committee are called subcommittees. Okay, there is a continent. The parts of the land which are below the continent, within a continent, are called subcontinent. Okay, 
and subdivision there is a bigger uh, part hole and the divisions of the this particular hole is called subdivision okay then super super fine superman super glue supernatural all are these examples with the help of the prefix super okay under underground underhand under clothes similarly ultra ultra means beyond okay so ultra violet means beyond violet now what is the meaning of beyond violet now basically children there is the uh, color spectrum in which violet is also a, a wave of light right so beyond violet is not visible to our eyes so ultraviolet rays are the rays which are not visible to our eyes but they are there they are part of light okay that's why they are known as ultraviolet okay ultraviolet in the world is formed with the help of the prefix ultra okay so this is an example of underground with the under and this super glue this is midnight okay students i hope you have understood prefixes quite well okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to discuss about suffixes but that's going to be a usual class discussion in our live session okay i hope you all enjoyed the class let's do it in class time in the live google session thank you students